Hi, I am Brian Xiao. We are very excited to join the finals competition of RoboCup Asia Pacific 2021. We are Team SG6044 Nanyang A. We are participating in Cool Space Arcat Rescue U12. We are Edward and Brian from Singapore. This is our first year attending this Cool Space. We won first place in the RoboCup Singapore Open. We also achieved second place in the Singapore National Robotics Competition. Here is the exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. The mission is to navigate the virtual robot to collect the objects which are different colored, avoid obstacles, deposit, and achieve the highest points in a fixed time of six minutes. The problems we investigated are turning, the optimal path, obstacle avoiding, generation of super objects, sequence to collect in special zone first, and debugging issues. We deployed several strategies, AI algorithms, avoidance and turning strategies, speed adjustments, and depositing in the nearest deposit zone. We improved our points by more than 600 points to 2,100 in the preliminary challenge. In conclusion, we analyzed the map carefully, found the optimal strategies, checked debugging, and learned to complete the task in the shortest and fastest way for the robot to collect the RRCC BB set and generate the most super objects and the highest overall score. We plotted them to get the highest scores. We, we broke down the channel tasks into the following mini tasks. Connecting objects, depositing objects, avoiding traps, walls, and obstacles, and collecting super and super plus objects. The overall mission is accomplished after completing all the mini tasks. Here is our optimal scoring strategy. In the preliminary map, we observed that the red, cyan, and black objects are relatively evenly distributed in the map, so it will be easy to collect one or two sets of RCB to generate super or super plus objects. Our scoring comparison combat collecting combinations in normal zone and special zone using a bar chart. Take six black objects, for example, and compare it with one or two sets of RCB. Even with one set of RCB, it gives more points than six black objects. The bar chart clearly identifies that RRCCBB is a combination that maximizes points, so we need to try our best to collect and deposit one or two sets of RCB. Our strategy for collecting super or super blast objects is generating super or super blast objects at first and then collecting them at one go. As the robot can only collect up to six objects, collecting super or super bus objects immediately after generated will occupy one slot. This will reduce the chance to generate super plus objects, RRCCBB, in the next depositing. Here, we have the illustration based on the sample with six deposits in the game. It is clearly explained that piling super or super plus objects will achieve an optimal result. Here is the optimal strategy. At near to end of the game, the robot will run along the wall to collect super or super blast objects at one go. This will save the time searching from the deposit zone to individual super or super blast objects. For navigating to deposit zones, we use a function to calculate the steer, then input it into a steering function. Our steer has two parts, target and avoidance steers. Target steer is proportional to angle difference, so a robot trying to navigate at 90 degrees will turn twice as fast if it is at 315 degrees as compared to if it is at 45 degrees. Avoidance steer is calculated as the difference between the theoretical maximum ultrasonic distance of 255 and the lowest of the ultrasonic sensor's readings to prevent the robot from turning too early when the ultrasonic sensor are still relatively high. It is raised to a certain power, which is 6, and then divided by 255 raised to the same power. 
they are then implemented together. The higher the avoidance steer, the more weightage it is given. The steering function will let the robot move straight if the input is zero and turn at the maximum value if the steering input is plus or minus 100. Here, we have shared out the code snips for finding a steer value and using it to steer the robot. Here is our overall flow chart. In the first two seconds, the robot will turn towards the special zone. If it's up just after depositing, the robot will count the number of super objects. If the time is less than 150 seconds, it will search and collect the super and super blast objects. If the robot did not deposit, then it will detect the object and collect it based on optimal scoring. The robot will efficiently avoid traps and obstacles, if any, or move forward. Sometimes the robot did not work as expected, so we need to check the debug info to see if any variable was not the expected variable value. Here is one sample where the robot has just missed the super object behind it. Therefore, we need to monitor the distance between the color sensor and the ball and adjust it according to the map. As this is the first time we use C code for programming, in the initial stage, we need to print out our own parameters and variables for easier tracking in the debug panel. It may take a lot of time to figure out the bugs via debugging, but debugging is worth it. In conclusion, a score of 2,100 is relatively reasonable, given that this is our first year attending such a prestigious Asia-Pacific competition. But we still aim to achieve higher in the finals. We set the robot to go to the blue zone and stay there for the first 30 seconds as the blue zone is circular with a big obstacle in the middle. The robot was able to complete a full RRCCBB set faster than the algorithm originally implemented in the warm up challenge. We applied avoidance and turning strategies that allow the robot to navigate around the map faster. The robot performed much better after we have applied various AI algorithms. For our future work, we can build in more algorithms to collect objects in special zones as we currently focus on collecting sets of RRCCBB except the first 30 seconds. We may need to come out with a strategy including super zo special zone object collection as the points will be doubled. We can also deposit in the nearest deposit box. Currently, we only use the central one at 1 1 and 2 1 to simplify the AI algorithms, but we may need to fine tune the logic to let the robot deposit to the nearest deposit. Also, we can learn advanced AI algorithms such as probability analysis to make our robot even more uh, intelligent. Our learning experience. We have learned using Core Space Robot to plan optimal routes, collect a full set of RRBBCC, and avoid obstacles. This requires an analytical mind, good planning, and persistence to debug. We have gained through the RCAP 2021 coding knowledge, robotic concepts, teamwork, strategy analysis, and how to improve all the time. We wish to share with other Co-Space game players that this competition allows us to offer coding using a user-friendly platform at the same time learn from the best players all over the world. We have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening. Please stay tuned to enjoy our game video. Thank <laughs> you.